ever since I was 12, all I wanted was a annual contract at the Met and a golden retriever. Didn't want a family, didn't want a spouse. I wanted the Central Park view and my Met contract. That was it. At Juilliard, there were not a lot of black vocalist. Um, I lived in the in the dormitory for some time. The view from my living room in the dormitory overlooked, one side overlooked Central Park, directly from me, I could see Central Park, and and through my bedroom, if I look from my, it was bunk beds, If I and I was on the top bunk, if I looked out and I could see the Met from my bed, I woke up and fell asleep looking at the Metropolitan Opera. When I started singing, you know, getting some feedback that wasn't so positive. I wanted to overcome that and I wanted to beat it and I wanted to better myself and get to the point where I worked so hard that these people would be put in their place and made to shut up and, <laughs> you know? So I had that fighting spirit. To become who you want to become and to become the artist that you want to become, that work is yours solely. Um, you have mentors, you have validators, but you have to push, 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 push. It was a lot. It was a lot of of emotional, of artistic, of technical work um, to to really make it through. Um, when the choice came up to sing opera, I was a little bit like, oh my gosh. And it wasn't until I remember hearing Joan Sutherland singing a recording of um, La Sonnambula by Bellini, and she was singing Anon Credea, Anon Giunge. <laughs> face streaming down my face and I thought I want to sound like that so there's a there was a band called Arrested Development they won a few Grammys out of Atlanta and I had just moved to Atlanta to pursue music and they saw me sing in a show hired me and at one concert we did a, an acoustic show and uh, a professor for Georgia State University heard me sing and came up to me and said, uh, man, your voice sounds really kind of classical, <laughs> which no one had ever said to me. Well, let's do some lessons. I'd never had a lesson in my life. And then she said, okay, take these Ital this Italian song home and learn it. And I was like, you're crazy. I don't, this is insane, whatever. And she's like, just try it. So just to prove that I could do it, I memorized it and learned it. And I came back and sung it for her, and she was like, see, I told you, I, know, I think that you should be an opera singer, actually. This was perfect timing, because I was like, you know what, if I'm going to have a music career, I want it to be solely on me. Like, I'm responsible for it. I don't want to have to be res someone else to be responsible for my success. I really wanted to perfect it, you know, and... Um... You know, I still strive for that now. Yeah. 